What's up everybody? It's the Inhuman one here and today we're going to attempt to weave together the convoluted plot in the newly released instant classic Katana Zero. First and foremost, I think it's important to state that pieces of the narrative are intentionally left vague and perplexing to allow the player to hypothesize and create their own theories on what the hell is going on. Another thing to note is that the story is told through the eyes of Zero who let's face it, is not the most reliable narrator, but more on that later. So without further ado, let's get started. What we do know is that the player character initially introduced to us as an assassin as the dragon is actually Zero, hence the name of the game, Katana Zero. He is the result of a government experiment codenamed Null, which was designed to create the perfect super soldiers. Through the use of a highly volatile experimental drug known as Kronos, the test subjects exhibited godlike reflexes and precognition, which allowed them to execute the most impossible of missions unscathed. Only the most powerful were assigned the Gamma rank, while the others were given an Alpha or Beta rank. At this time, we know that Zero and Fifteen, the real dragon, are the only Null soldiers to attain this rank. Seven years ago, the soldiers were deployed in the New Mecha War, and initially, the program was largely a great success. But due to the fact that news of child murders was leaked, they were pulled from the efforts and eventually utilized as government assassins or terminated. As a failsafe for the program, the experimental drug Kronos was engineered to have extremely lethal withdrawal symptoms. As a result, regular administration of Kronos in the bloodstream was required to survive. Kronos was also deliberately manufactured in a very limited supply, essentially forcing the Nulls to act as marionettes for their sinister government puppet masters in order to survive. The toxic effects of Kronos, coupled with memory loss, caused Zero to struggle distinguishing past from present fact from fiction, and dreams versus reality. Seven years after the war, Kronos has found its way into the streets of the civilian districts and is causing the public to raise questions that threaten to uncover the government's dark secrets. Gradually, throughout his journey, Zero discovers that the targets in his contracts all share one common theme. They are all in some way, shape, or form associated with the manufacturing, distribution, or knowledge of Kronos and its dark origins. Eventually, Zero meets V, a Russian drug dealer employed by a mysterious benefactor. Through a series of encounters, V reveals that he and his partner, Snow, have been attempting to manufacture Kronos and have tracked down and killed a number of Alpha and Beta Nulls. Zero eventually discovers that he himself was a remnant of the Null project and was brainwashed to do the government's bidding. With newfound knowledge, Zero begins to seek the truth regarding his shattered memory, the Nulls, and Kronos, and is deceived at nearly every turn. Eventually, Zero destroys the creator of Kronos and meets with other Nulls that seemingly have an agenda of their own. Fifteen, the dragon, and his unnamed Null partner seek to destroy the corrupt government that created them. In his path to the truth, Zero kills the unnamed Null, V, meets with the enigmatic comedy and tragedy, and befriends a nameless girl that apparently never even existed. Zero soon learns that the nightmares that plagued him were actually memories of his time as a Null killing children in the New Mecha War. Battered, confused, and suffering from withdrawals, Zero returns to the man in red who had previously administered his injections and brutally kills him. After injecting himself with massive amounts of Kronos, Zero rests in the chair that never before had brought him so much solace. The mid credit scene cuts to V's mysterious partner, Snow, speaking to a shadowy figure stating that they would be taking the war to the government, most likely to get a stranglehold on Kronos and its production. Ultimately, Zero's tale leaves much to be told. With the supply of Kronos virtually non-existent, Fifteen on a suicide mission, Snow and her benefactor plotting a war, the little girl unaccounted for, and Zero's imminent lethal withdrawal, ironically only time itself can reveal move by move the machinations of those that pull the strings that control the system. And that is going to bring this video to a close. In future videos we will be discussing Snow's identity, the truth behind tragedy and comedy, the other nulls, and much much more. Until the next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.